The iPad is really a tool for research um, and also a place where the, they write the research paper that they then share with me and I can access their, their work as well. I then can leave comments on their papers and they can go edit their, their draft and, and improve on it. Table four, we'll get the iPads. When table four is done, table three, and then table two, and then table one. For the last few months, we've been working on a project around the American Revolution. They pick a topic that they then research and become experts about and then they teach the rest of the class about that particular event or person or battle and they get then to do a keynote presentation on the iPads and yeah they become the teacher so to speak yeah now it's time for a quiz to see how much you've learned sometimes you can find things on in the internet that you can't find in books or vice versa it's not just, oh, I, I'm going on the iPad just so I can play games and do things that will distract me. You can do much more than that. By Thursday, you're still working on your keynote, try to finish your keynote. I think it makes them a, uh, a more responsible learner because they're actively engaged in their learning. They're not just recipients of me just pouring knowledge into them. They actually have to actively be involved in their learning. So in some ways it makes my job easier. You know, you give them parameters and then you sort of roll out the project and then, then it's on them to really uh, dig through the materials and sort out what's, what's necessary and not. I find them to be a lot more engaged <laughs> when they have to figure it out and they need to solve their own problems. They can make mistakes and then learn through them.